for a little bit, and then that means a lot for the circuit. We should finally get and qualify by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. These securities are highly speculative. Investing in shares of common stock and high-time trading can take above significant risks. The investment is suitable only for persons who can afford to lose their entire investment. Furthermore, investors must understand that such investment could be illiquid for an indefinite period of time. No public market currently exists for the securities, and if a public market is following the offering, it may not be seen. To obtain a copy of the offering circular, which contains information about high-time trading for the offering and other related topics, including the risks of the investment, please visit HighTimesInvestor.com. That's HighTimesInvestor.com. I have media and its affiliates and investors in high-time trading for it, but they're not associated with this offering. I have media and its affiliates are not responsible for the information contained in this message. The information is suited to HighTimesInvestor.com or the information filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Up our first official day of snow. They say we can get half a foot to a foot in this one. All right, kind of dread winter anymore. I gotta bring the plow truck in over there, do some work to it. It's not really ready to plow. As usual, I'm behind and not ready. Well, this is a kind of a first year um, of having the car here of what's happened um, you have to view my old videos to see what I did this summer I did quite a bit not as much as I would like but I uh, got things down to where I can start really repairing stuff instead of stripping it down and finding uh, um, surprises and stuff so but unlike a lot of you guys, my car didn't have a lot to hide. <laughs> it was it's so rotten and damaged and nothing got fixed, so it basically, uh, uh, there was very little to hide. Um, working on the uh, generator and starter here, got them all apart, cleaning them up, just kind of doing some dilly-dally stuff to get things kind of out of the way, and they'll be ready to go when I... Instead of having them at the last, I guess I'm doing them first. I may be procrastinating on doing bodywork too, doing this, but eh, you know how it goes. Uh, distributor's all restored. Uh, I was really surprised how nice it cleaned up, and I had to get all new wiring and everything before it was all shot. And, um, points are original. They're still in good shape, so I can start her on the original points. And uh, um, yeah, and this distributor's so early, like the car, it's a TR2 distributor. And uh, different points. Of course, the points are three times the cost of the other set of regular points. Yeah, of course. But what's there is ready to go. I service the fuel pump. Um, so it's pretty much ready to go. And here's a little... Maddie, come over. Here's a little view of uh, things I... Books and stuff I've gotten. Uh, uh, hold on here. I'm going to put you on the mount. I have to try to handle the camera and show books. Okay. Of course, these ones are, you all should recognize. Um, this is, I'm sure, a good book for pictures and seeing how things are supposed to be in a little history. And, of course, this one from Improvements and Modifications. and. I'll be doing some of these. I'm going to rally prep the chassis. So this is a really good book. And this is probably the best service manual there is, the original one. And I got a really good buy on it on eBay. It's a really clean one for 30 bucks. And some other goodies I've rounded up. Here's the first uh, road and tracks, first uh, uh, road test of the TR3. This is June of 56, which is seven months after my car was built. With a hard top TR right on the cover. Really nice shape too. And the best part of all, an original sales brochure. Not a repop. And it's in really good shape. It wasn't cheap. But it uh, is cool. Information on it is just really, really good. Uh, specs on the back and the options 
but uh, that was a nice little piece, but boy, it was a bit costly. How many, it was made a month before my car was built, so how many, uh, how many things like that are you going to run across? <laughs> well, that's it for now. I'm going to show a little bit more as I'm progressing on electricals and stuff, just kind of a year-end view and kind of things that have been going on. And since the first snowfall, the car came here just before the first snowfall, and it was now it's here, and this is the first snowfall. So this is kind of a uh, uh, how far I've gotten, I guess. <laughs>